touch up my lipstick. Hey guys, so long time no talk, or at least it feels that way to me. You guys have seen me since, but I haven't like really talked to you because I did the Yosemite vlog, which I did not speak in, and then the denim jacket video I didn't talk in. So this is the first time I'm actually sitting here talking to you guys in what feels like it has been a week, actually. It's been one week since I've sat down to talk to you guys. It's also the first time I've put on makeup in about seven days. So I'm like, put on all the makeup, and I put on like a pound of makeup today. So like tradition, I decided to do another early favorites video. You know why? Because around the same time of the month, not that time of the month, every single guru will post their favorites video. I'll literally have like 15 people's favorites videos to watch, and that's a little overwhelming. So, you know what I was thinking? Maybe I should just do this every month and post an early favorites video because then if you guys are like mid-month and you're craving a favorites video but you gotta wait two more weeks, at least you know you'll have mine early. So I'm gonna be the weird one and do favorites in like the middle of the month. I don't know. I mean it's like the 19th so it's really only one week left of August so it's like three weeks in. But the reason why is because I'm kind of like shopping my own collection because I don't have money to go and buy a bunch of new things. I did get two new things this month and I'm really excited about them because I haven't bought something for myself in so long. So I'm really excited and I have both of them in this video. But because I haven't been buying like new makeup and stuff like that, um, I've been shopping my own collection and I don't need four weeks to test out products because they're already in my collection. I've used them, I know I like them, I'm just re-favoriting them. Let's get started. First one is a perfume. I guess I'll start with perfume. I ran out of all my summer perfumes. So I had to go into my fall scents and pull out some of my Juicy Couture perfumes, which I typically only wear in the fall, but I've been wearing Viva La Juicy a ton lately. Wait, wait, let me fix that. Cute. I've been wearing Viva La Juicy so much. It's probably my favorite juicy um, perfume that they have. I've had this for a really long time and it was actually like up to here when I started using it this summer. I don't put on a lot. I do like three to four sprays maybe. Is that too much? I don't know, but I guess I just use it perfume really, really quickly. But I love this perfume a lot. If you get a chance to smell it, that's what I'm smelling like lately. Next we have a lipstick, which you're probably wondering, what's on your lips? It's this, it's the Maybelline Vivids in Vibrant Mandarin. I really, really want to try the other Vivids, I just don't have money, so it's either groceries or lipstick, and I gotta pick one. So I normally pick food, you know, it's better to nourish my body than lipstick, but I really, really love the Vivids formula. It feels really nice on the lips. It's really moisturizing. It's not drying at all, but because it's not like a matte formula, it transfers really easily. Like it gets, it can get on your teeth, it gets on whatever you touch. God forbid you like kiss somebody. I love wearing it in videos. I think it's the perfect like ready orangey red for my skin tone because I do have more yellow undertones. I typically like the more warm toned reds, even though cool toned reds, which I have worn um, in the past, make your teeth look whiter, but I'll sacrifice the yellow teeth to complement my skin. Next, another thing you're probably wondering, my nails. This is one of the new things I got for myself this month and I'm super excited. Um, I actually went and got something else from H&M, which I'm going to show, and while I was in line, they always get you in the line, they have the pretty nail polishes just in that little set there and I just want them. So I grabbed it. It's this pretty color from H&M. It's called Lollipop Lullaby. It's a nice periwinkle. Periwinkle is probably one of my favorite colors of all time. I just, oh my gosh, I love this color so much. Um, I just like blue toned on me even though it kind of contrasts with my skin because I do have more warm toned skin. But I really really love the blue tones. Like I love Pacific Blue from Sally Hansen. That's probably my favorite nail polish ever. Um, and then now this one is really amazing. These go for like $4.95, I think. Um, really good deal. The brush is actually really amazing. It's like flat. Um, I can't explain it. <laughs> it's like literally flat. And then the bottom is like rounded, which I thought I wouldn't like. Oh, and it's really wide, which again, I thought I wouldn't like because I have small nails that um, big brushes typically don't work that well because it just gets everywhere for me, but the roundness of it makes it so easy to avoid the cuticle area. You can just keep it all in the nail. Next thing I have been liking, this isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. Um, this is the Gosh Black Ink Velvet Touch Eyeliner that's waterproof. 
This is probably the best pencil for tight lining. I love it for tight lining. When I tight line, was it necessary to say that so many times? When I tight line, I don't like a really creamy pencil because when I use a really creamy pencil, hello. When I use a really creamy pencil, it like gets everywhere, like up in my lashes. It's just too hard to work with on the tight line. Maybe on the waterline, especially on the lash line, but not on my tight line. So that's why I really like this one. It's not super creamy. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's also not super, super black, which I like. So that's why I'm saying it's not everybody's like cup of tea because it's not the creamiest formula, it's not the darkest formula, and I know that's everybody's like favorite thing. It has to be creamy and black and dark, and this one's not, but that's why I like it because it's different. Last uh, makeup thing I've been really liking, or beauty product thing, is Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Now I've had this for a really long time. Oh, this, okay. Um, I stopped using it for a while because I would use like other primers, and I'm not sure why. I really like what Painterly does on my lids because it like evens out the skin. Um, it takes away the greasy texture. It just like covers up the redness. My eyelids get really red. Um, it's not so much veininess, but just like red. So this covers that, and I really, really like it. It doesn't work as well as an eye primer I would say. I still like my eye primers but when I do looks that I don't mind creasing a little bit later on in the day I'll use painterly. As to like skincare type items to talk about the first one is Cetaphil moisturizing lotion. This actually took me a while to figure out if it was for body or for face. I had no idea. I had to research and even still I'm not 100%. I think it's for the body. I've been putting it on my body but it is amazing. I really, really like this because it absorbs so quickly. It's unscented, so, I mean, it's just great. I took this little sample to Yosemite, and that's what I would use it for when I, like, got out of the river or something. My skin felt dry and tight. I would just apply this on my legs and um, arms, and it absorbed really fast, and it just felt really good, so this is good stuff. And then to set my makeup, I've been using a facial toner, which is weird. It's not like a makeup setting spray, but my skin, because it's dry, can look quite powdery. I didn't do this today, I just realized. Typically though, I don't really need this for filming because I don't care if my, you can't really see what my skin looks like in real life. You wouldn't want to see because I put on a lot of foundation today. Um, but I will set my makeup with this, just kind of spritz it to take away the powdery effect. Um, I didn't tell you what it is. It's a Pangea Organics Facial Toner in Italian Green Mandarin and Sweet Lime. They do have a lot of different scents. Um, I got a sample of this in Birchbox a million years ago, probably like two years ago, and then I bought the full size, um, and it's really worth it. It smells amazing. It's very herbal, like lavender is what it smells like, and I really like it, and it's hydrating and refreshing to put on the powdery skin. I have one beauty unfavorites, and then we'll move on to like weird favorites. I don't like this at all. This is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. I got this because Claire um, from Hey Claire said that she liked it and she uses it. I don't like it at all. First off, it's like dried up. Well, bad example. Okay, I'm gonna like go a couple times and you'll see like the missing spots. Like what? It, I don't, I can't explain it. It just sometimes doesn't produce eyeliner. Sometimes it does. And it's just really strange. It's like the tip is broken. I don't, <laughs> I can't explain it. It's just odd. I've never used a liquid liner like this before. Please tell me your favorite drugstore liquid eyeliner. I really, really want to find a good one um, because I love liquid liner, but this is just not working for me. I don't know. I just don't like this one. So my next favorite is kind of gross right now. I'm really sorry. Um, but it is a sports bra from H&M. It's their low support, medium support. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's low support. Okay, so my beef with sports bras. I'm small chested. I'm not flat chested. I just have small boobs. And I love my small boobs. <laughs> and the issue I have with sports bras, they make you so flat because they're obviously preventing, like, you know, pain. I don't feel pain anyway, but I don't want to wear a regular bra when I'm working out. So, yeah, um, I am, like, destined to find a bra that does not make me look flat like a boy, but still works. So <laughs> I found this one at H&M. It was, like, $14 or something like that. It is 
phenomenal. It actually makes my boobs look better than like a push-up bra. And that's saying something. Last favorite to show you is the Dole Wildly New- Oh, there's hair all over that. Look at that. The Dole Wildly Nutritious Tropical Fruit Blend. It's just frozen fruit. Um, and yeah, I really like it for making my smoothies. This has pineapple, strawberries, banana, mango, and papaya. And then I'll throw in a handful of kale and a handful of spinach. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. And some stevia and like a cup of water. That's typically my little mixture there. But I love this little blend. It's so, so good. Definitely worth buying because, I mean, it, it lasts pretty long. Um, I probably can get four smoothies out of the bag, which is... Not bad, it depends. I mean, if you want a smaller smoothie, obviously you get more smoothies out of it. But I love this little mixed fruit bag. I know it's super random, but I had to mention it because it's delicious. Last thing I really, really have been loving that I wanted to mention is keeping up with the Kardashians. That is like my ultimate guilty pleasure TV show. My boyfriend makes fun of me, my stepdad makes fun of me for watching it. I don't know why I really care about these people, but I love the Kardashians. I just like who they are as people. I think they're entertaining, they're funny. I mean, am I the only one here? I think pretty much a lot of people like the Kardashians. I'm not the only one, but ultimate guilty pleasure. There's no reason to watch it. I just love it. So that is everything for my favorites and my one little unfavorite this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys have been loving this month down below, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.